Hello quilt artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So I'm here today with an unboxing. Uh, this is the Sew Sampler for the month of July. So um, Sew Sampler is curated by Fat Quarter Shop. It is $24.95 per month plus shipping. And um, every month we get some fabric, uh, some type of pre-cut. Um, we get a pattern and then various notions or tools. So this actually came yesterday, but I did not get a chance to open it yesterday because I have been busy, 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 um, busy working, unfortunately. So let's open this box and I am um, using my seam ripper to open the box, which I know I should not do, but it's what I'm doing. Okay. So it says, seize the day. And I've been so busy, I haven't even looked at the sneak peek. So I have no idea what's in here. I've lost the nail. I have not had the ability to go to the nail shop. I've been busy. By the way, uh, the International Stitch Marathon was yesterday. Um, we had a great time. It was super fun. A lot of people showed up. Um, I got to talk to a lot of people, hear some stories. There was a lot of talk about English paper piecing, which I don't do at all, but um, it was great to hear like people's different methods and tips and tri tricks and best practices for what they do and the tools that they use. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I unfortunately had to log off at 5 p.m. Eastern time because I had to go volunteer for my son. Um, I'm watching my camera do these weird things as I'm talking, so I'm hoping I'm, I don't have any issues um, because my camera is doing weird, weird things. So I'm hoping you don't see the weird things that the camera's doing and that it's only on my end. Or else I'll have to refilm this video. All right, seize the day. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is nice, guys. All right. So we have some pins from Quilter Select. They're heat resistant, safe for use with irons. And it comes in, there's a 36 millimeter length, 0.5 millimeter diameter, nickel plated, glass heads, magnetic case. So I do have some heat resistant pins and it came, they came in one of those um, like standard plastic pin boxes that pins come in, which is a pain. So I think I'm going to take my existing heat resistant pins and pop them in here with these. Um, I love this tin and I like these pins. Um, normally I go with a thinner pin. So this won't be an everyday pin for me um, because I personally like a thinner pin. So I go with the clovers with the blue flower or the clovers with the pink or red flower. Um, I kind of go gravitate towards those. These are a tiny bit thicker, um, I think, than the blue ones. I think they're a tiny bit thicker. Um, so I don't know. I'll try them out. We'll see how they go. Quilter Select is a really great brand. And even if I don't like the pins, I really like this case. So my existing heat-resistant pins are going in here. Oh, okay. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so here we go heat resistant pins, the magic pins. So I, this, this is actually what I have. Um, so we have two, it's like a sample pack, a try me pack. So we have quilting pins, which are one and three quarter inches and half a millimeter. And then we have the extra long pins, which are two and a quarter inches long and 0.6 millimeters. So the ones I have have an orange head, but they are the magic pins. So the ones that I've got and these, all going in here. I'm happy with this. Okay, and we have a pin. Oh, not a pin. It's a um, pendant. Let's see what do we what do we do with this? Hold on. Let's find the verbiage about the pin. Um, so it's a, just a charm. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a charm. So, like I said, these are cute. 
Um, I'll probably pop this on something. I'm not sure. It's got a lobster claw on there. Um, conversely, I can use this as a stitch marker for crochet. I can use that lobster claw, lobster claw, lobster claw. Um, shut up. I can use that. He's making fun of me because I keep saying it wrong. Um, I can use that. Um, so this might make a stitch marker for me. I might use it for that. So we also have, I think I'm most happy about this. It's a smaller size, but I don't care. So this is a half rectangle trimmer by Fat Quarter Shop for two by four inch finished units. So this is the template. And you can tell we use this, we use this in our project. But I know that I personally have struggled with half rectangles. Um, I have a project, I have a whip that uh, calls for half rectangles. And um, in the pattern, so pet peeve of mine. I believe that a pattern should always tell you what tools you must have or what tools they used in the construction. There's a pattern that I saw that I really liked. It's called Coco Nibs. Forgot the pattern designer. And on the back, it said that an optional tool was the Creative, the creative Grids Half Rectangle Trimmer, ruler, whatever you call it. There's a Creative Grids ruler for half rectangles. Now, it said optional. So when you tell me something's optional, then I'm expecting you to give me tips, um, not tips, but instruction on how to trim up the units, or I'm expecting you to give me a template that I can use to trim up my units. And that pattern didn't do either of those things. And that is a pet peeve of mine. If you're not going to give me instruction in the pattern to not use the tool, then the tool becomes required and not optional, in my opinion. Off my soapbox. So our pattern this month, I like a lot. And now you can see our fabric. It is Nantucket Summer by Minnick, is it Minnick and Simpson? It looks like Minnick and Simpson. Camille Ross Kelly. Um, so Nantucket, Nantucket Summer by Camille Ross Kelly for Moda. We have 20 layer cake squares in here. This is a nice, pretty blue line, um, but not nautical. I'm not going to open it. And you can kind of see the print a little better here. But we're going to be using this 20-piece layer cake, one and three-eighths yards for background and border, and half a yard for the binding. And with that, we can make this 36 and a half by 36 and a half mini quilt, wall hanging, whatever you want to call it, table topper. It could be a table topper. But that's our pattern. So I like this. I'm happy with this month's box. And then, of course, we have block four for the sew along. Um, there is um, a subscriber of mine that wants me to send her these cards. And if you see this video, I have not forgotten. I've just literally been working day and night. Um, I have not been making any videos. I've literally been working day and night. I've been doing Instacart on the side because my birthday is coming up. And I want to go to a cabin for a week and that cabin is going to run me twelve hundred dollars for the week and that's that's a good bit of money right and then on top of that we need it's in tennessee and i've never been to dollywood i love me some dolly parton i think she's a national treasure and i want to go to dollywood and i want to eat really good food while i'm out there in tennessee and so i want some extra money so that I don't have to penny pinch while I'm there. 
So I have been hustling, 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 hustling. So in addition to my work, my regular job, nine to five, nights and weekends, I've been doing Instacart. Plus, you know, I've got a family and, and children and family events and get togethers. And then the volunteering that I had to do yesterday. And I have another one coming up this week. My son has band camp next week. He has to be there from eight to five every day. I don't normally get a bit, get out of bed until nine, but I'll have to be up and out by 7.30 so I can have him where he needs to be. I know it's a luxury that I get to sleep till nine. I understand that. It wasn't always that way. I did not always work from home and I did not always have older children. I used to have to get up at 6 a.m. and schlep to different daycares in different schools every morning and then schlep the reverse on the way home every day. So I have lived that life. And so I understand that it's a luxury that I get to sleep until nine and work from home. I get that. I do. I do. I get that. I understand that that's a blessing. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not tired <laughs> with all this extra, with all this extra. Um, I've, I've been out. I've been out. I was out all day today. So I was out today doing Instacart from one. I left my house at 1.30 p.m. And I got home at 9.30 p.m. So I was out there for eight hours. Um, and it can be tiring. It can be tiring. But that's neither here nor there. Let's recap this box. Oh, and then, of course, we have our coupons. That quarter shop gives us coupons. Ooh. Okay. Normally, it's a percentage off. But this, we have a free tote bag with a $50 purchase. Let me see if I can show you guys the tote bag. I like the tote bag. Cover up the codes. So there's a free tote, free tote bag, a little Bonnie, Bonnie and Co. or Bonnie and Camille tote bag. It's kind of blurry. And then if you spend a hundred dollars, you can get this quote B book by Bonnie and Camille. I don't normally spend that much at that quarter shop. But um, I have until September 20th. And, you know, Labor Day. Labor Day is my birthday. But I don't, I don't plan to be buying much because I'm going away. And I need money for that. So to recap, uh, we have our block four of our Bliss Quilt Along. Let me show you this month's block. I'm such, I don't know why I make this harder than it has to be, people. I don't, I don't know why I make it harder than it has to be. So that's the block. So that's block four. We have our pattern, which is sail away, which finishes at 36 and a half by 36 and a half. I actually really like this pattern. I like the movement in it. Uh, but I would probably want to make it bigger. I don't have a lot of use for something that's 36 and a half by 36 and a half. I don't generally hang quilts on my wall. Um, so I would need to make it bigger. So I'd probably use different fabric. So this lovely Nantucket summer fabric will be used for something different than this. Because I would want this to be bigger. Unless I can figure out how to make, but I wouldn't have any use to make it a table runner. I don't know. I could just use the blue squares. My living room is blue. So I could remove the green squares that are in here and just use the blue to make like a table runner. But I don't know. It's more like blue and cream, not like blue and white. So no, this would be used for something completely different. I don't know what, but I do like this pattern a lot. We also have a half rectangle trimmer, which is a fat quarter shop, um, designed by fat quarter shop. Now, you know, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably going to take this and expand it, right? Because I'm always looking for ways to m make my own stuff. So I don't have to buy it. So I might try to get some template plastic and 
use these dimensions and like expand this out because I've got the the angles, I've got the lines, I've got the angles. So theoretically, I can make this bigger to like a, you know, a larger size. Because this finishes, this is a two and a half by four and a half unfinished unit. So I'm wondering if I can get some template pet plastic, extend these diagonal lines out a little bit further and make myself a template for the work in progress that I am struggling with um, half rectangles and squaring them up. We also got this sample pack of magic pins. These are heat resistant pins. We have two different samples. The specific ones I have, because like I said, I like a finer pin, I have these orange ones here. These are the silk pins. They're one in, they're short, so they're one and seven sixteenth inches, uh, inches long, so they're not very long, but they're only 36 millimeters. But I would be using these one day if I was to do applique. Um, that would be the only time I would ever use them. And that's why I did not mind the pins being short. Um, but those pins are going to get added to this little nifty thing that's also in here, which is 100 glass head pins. And because they're glass heads, they are heat resistant. So you don't have to buy pins marked as heat resistant pins as long as they are glass head pins. They are automatically heat resistant and um, they generally cost less. A glass head pin costs less than a heat resistant pin, even though they're the same thing. Go figure. Um, so we do. We got these sample pins and then we got this pin tin with 100 glass head pins from Quilters Select. And then we have this cute little sailboat charm which I'm probably going to use as a stitch marker for crochet and that is our box this month um, I'm happy with it um, I think they've been doing a bang-up job I know there was there was some t there, there were some rough boxes I don't know if it was like late 2020 early 2021 there was there was some rough boxes where they were having some trouble sourcing their normal materials and stuff but I stuck with them and things have bounced back and I've that is I've not gotten a single box that I was not pleased with for all of 2022 so um that is my lengthy unboxing and I will see you guys next video